audience, welcome to Nusfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. With today's news analysis, I am Miron Getacho. Stay with us. North Korea warns U.S. of nuclear retaliation as tension trades. Tensions between the U.S. and the North Korea have been on the rise in recent weeks, with Pyongyang increasing its ballistic missile, tasting in a defense of Washington and international sanctions. North Korea's defense minister has warned the United States that the deployment of nuclear assets in South Korea could meet the conditions for its use of nuclear arms, according to the state media. Comments reported on Thursday by the Korean Central News Agency came in response to the U.S. sending a submarine with nuclear armed ballistic missile to South Korea this week for the first time in the case. The ever increasing visibility of the deployments of strategic nuclear submarine and other strategic assets may fall under the conditions of the use of nuclear weapons specified in the DPRK law, Kang said in a statement, referring to his country by the official name, the Democratic People's Republic. Republic of Korea. Tensions between the U.S. and the North Korea. Last week, the U.S., South Korea and Japan released a joint statement condemning the launch of a North Korean intercontinental ballistic missile days earlier. The United States retorted that its commitment to defend the ROK, Republic of Korean or South Korean, and Japan are aeroclean and backed by the full range of capabilities, including nuclear, the statement said. The three allies went on to hold a joint military drill on Sunday. On Wednesday, South Korea and Japan reported that North Korea had launched two more ballistic missiles. The U.S. and South Korea also held their first so-called nuclear consultative group meeting this week. The White House said it provided a chance for the U.S. to reframe its commitment to provide extended deterrence to South Korea. Any nuclear attack by North Korea against the United States or its ally is unacceptable and will result in the end of that regime. And the U.S. and the Republic of Korea sides highlighted that any nuclear attack by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea against the Republic of Korea or South Korea will be met with a swift, overwhelming and decisive response, the White House said in a statement after talks. On Thursday, North Korea slammed the nuclear meeting. The phase of a military clash on the Korean Peninsula has refused as a dangerous reality, the KCNA report said. U.S. soldiers cross the border into North Korea. And the escalation, 20 years old U.S. soldier intentionally crossed into North Korea this week. U.S. officials believe he is now in the North Korean custody. Former U.S. President Donald Trump engaged in a direct talks with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un during his teacher. But high-level meetings between the two countries came to a halt under the current U.S. President Joe Biden. After the first meeting between Trump and Kim in 2018, the nation said in a joint statement that North Korea was committed to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, but the pledge was never followed by efforts to end the country's nuclear weapons program. North Korea carried out its first nuclear weapons test in 2006 in violation of an international ban on such testing. Since then, the United States National Security Council has unanimously passed numerous resolutions that have imposed sanctions on the country over its nuclear program. Last year, Russia and China voted a Security Council proposal to impose more penalties on North Korea, arguing that sanctions have not been effective in crippling its nuclear and missile programs. North Korea has yet to comment on the incidents involving the U.S. soldier. This was our news for today. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.